Do you remember the thrill of getting your learner's permit? Ah yes, the anticipation, the freedom, the open road ahead. But a learner's permit, sometimes called a provisional license or a driver's permit, is more than just a ticket to drive. This little piece of identification has a big job. It's there to help new drivers practice their skills under the watchful eyes of a licensed adult. That could be a parent, a guardian, or even a driving instructor. It's like having training wheels for a car. But with this permit come certain restrictions. Think of it as the universe's way of saying, hold on there, speed racer. You're typically limited to driving at specific times and you can't hit the road without a supervising adult present. Having a learner's permit is the first step towards the freedom of the open road, but it also comes with responsibilities. Driving a car means taking on certain legal obligations, one of which is auto insurance. Now, the specifics of these requirements can vary depending on where you live. But let's be clear, in most parts of the United States, auto insurance is a must have for all drivers, regardless of whether you're still holding on to your learner's permit or you've moved on to a full driver's license. The reason behind this is simple. Auto insurance provides financial protection in the event of accidents. It ensures that if something goes wrong, victims can receive compensation for damages and injuries. And while we all hope we'll never need it, having insurance is about preparing for the unexpected. So, whether you're just starting your driving journey with a learner's permit, or you've been behind the wheel for years, remember this, mandatory auto insurance isn't just a legal requirement. It's about safeguarding yourself and others on the road. Without exception, driving requires insurance, whether you're a novice or an experienced driver. So you have a learner's permit, but are you covered under your parents or guardians auto insurance? That's a question that's likely on your mind and rightfully so. The answer, it depends. Some insurance policies automatically extend coverage to learner drivers as long as they're listed on the policy. This means that, in many cases, you're protected when you're behind the wheel, practicing your three-point turns and parallel parking. However, not all insurance companies follow this practice. Some may require additional endorsements or adjustments to the policy to include learner drivers. This can range from adding your name to the policy to buying a separate coverage plan. The key is to check with your insurance provider. Don't make assumptions, as it could lead to coverage issues in the event of an accident. Make sure you're clear on your coverage status and if any changes are necessary to keep you protected. Being informed about your insurance status is crucial before you start your driving journey. Insurance isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. Different types of coverage are available to suit various needs. Let's break them down. First up is liability coverage. This is often required by law and helps pay for damages and injuries you may cause to others in an accident where you're at fault. Next, we have collision coverage. This type of insurance covers damage to your vehicle if you collide with another car or object. It's like having a safety net for your car. Then there's comprehensive coverage. This goes beyond collision and covers damage to your vehicle from events like theft, vandalism, fire, or natural disasters. It's the all-inclusive resort of car insurance. Lastly, we have uninsured or underinsured motorist coverage. This steps in when you're involved in an accident with a driver who doesn't have sufficient insurance to cover the damages. Understanding your coverage options helps you make informed decisions about your auto insurance. 
As a learner driver, there are several factors you need to consider. One of the most crucial is understanding the extent of coverage provided by the supervising adult's auto insurance policy. It's not just about having insurance, it's about knowing what your insurance covers and what it doesn't. Remember, while you're on the road, you're not just learning to steer and signal, you're also learning to navigate the world of responsibilities that come with driving. This includes adhering to all traffic laws and safety regulations. It's not simply about avoiding tickets, it's about minimizing the risk of accidents and protecting the lives of everyone on the road. Finally, don't forget to familiarize yourself with the terms and conditions of the insurance policy. Learn about deductibles, limits and exclusions. This knowledge will not only protect you from unexpected surpluses, but also help you make informed decisions about your coverage. Safety and knowledge are your best companions on the road. Driving without insurance is a risk that comes with heavy consequences. Imagine being in the driver's seat, enjoying a ride, and suddenly you're involved in an accident. Without insurance, you're not only dealing with the shock of the incident, but also the potential financial liability. You could be held personally responsible for covering the costs of damages, medical expenses, and even legal fees, which can quickly escalate into thousands of dollars. But the consequences don't stop there. In many jurisdictions, driving without insurance is considered a legal violation, leading to fines, and in some cases, your license could be suspended. And let's not forget about the future implications. If you're caught driving without insurance, it can make obtaining insurance coverage in the future a challenging and costly endeavor. In short, the risks of driving without insurance far outweigh the costs. So, it's always best to ensure you're adequately covered before hitting the road. Gistartis, if you're a learner driver not covered by an existing policy, don't worry, there are options for you. One option is to secure your own auto insurance policy. This could be a good choice if you frequently drive a car that isn't covered by another policy. Alternatively, you could be added to a parent's or guardian's policy as a listed driver. This often proves to be a cost-effective solution. However, it's important to note that the best option varies depending on your unique circumstances. Factors such as the type of car you drive, how often you drive, and where you live can all influence the cost and coverage of your insurance. That's why it's crucial to shop around and compare quotes from different insurance providers. Remember, insurance isn't just about protection, it's about peace of mind. Everyone deserves to be protected on the road, and with the right information, you can find the best insurance option for you.